So here are the bonus tips if you want to be filled with Holy Spirit. Make things happen. If it's the first time you visit this channel, I, I say that you subscribe, click on that red bell button for notification, and if you like what I'm talking about, please like, share, and comment. God bless you. So here are my tips. Tips number tips number one. Tips number one. The first of all, number one, repent your sins. Make sure you, that you forgive others who has wronged you. If you are not baptized, make sure you get one. And tips number two, read the word of God regularly. Just make it your habit. Tips number three, love Jesus. Talk about him. Read about him. Love his words. Be his number one fan. Four, pray regularly according to how Jesus teach in private. And do not shout when you pray. Learn to pray the way Jesus teach in Matthew chapter 6 verse 5 to 6. Number five, help the poor and needy according to how Jesus teach. Give sacrifice, support the work of God regularly. Make it private between you and God and the one you are helping. If you are helping to the ministry, it has to be between you and God. If you are helping someone, maybe the needy or the poor, it has to be between you and God and that needy not not it's not like these days that when people they are helping the poor they want to make it take a selfie and put on internet and show that they so that people can bless them you just do it between you and God and the person you are helping all right and uh, Pray about Holy Spirit. Talk about Holy Spirit. Show the desire by loving to talk about Him. And mm, praise and worship. Make sure you love to praise God and love to worship God. Just make it your habit to praise and worship. You see? And uh, the lastly, avoid sin with all your power. I mean, stay away from sin with all your heart. Make sure you confess, confess when you have wronged. Confess to God. Wait for him as a bride ready for her wedding day. How long will it take? It depends on your commitments and efforts. Make all the things your habit. Make sure you listen to my previous video so you will get more understanding of this stuff. Okay? Also, there is another thing, and it is the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is a very powerful prayer. Include it in your prayers. Just the part of your make it the part of your prayers. It's very good. It is creating connection. And lastly, there is something that I would really, really recommend because I think this is very, very effective and very powerful because it's the taking of the Lord's Supper. When I take Lord's Supper, I always experience the great overflow of Holy Spirit. So I recommend and I also suggest that you take Lord's Supper regularly. You can take it when you are alone. Just take, make it very simple. I can just show you how I make it. The Lord's Supper, I take, I use wine, a regular wine. I, that wine you can buy in the shop, 
you can buy in any 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 food store or in any place just the wine that made from grapes why i mention grapes why i mention wine because that is the drink that jesus was taking that day and he was telling the disciples take this to remembering me i'm going to talk about the lord's supper in the future I will speak so deeply about it and make a bread you can make a bread yourself and it's very easy to make bread it's not so very don't take don't be so complicated you have only to use three ingredients that's our wheat flour olive oil and salt you just mix with water and you create a dough and uh, after that you can either fry it on the pan or you can bake it if you are making a small bread just make a little one just only for you if you are alone if you are three four you can make a little bit bigger according to how how many you are in the house the Lord's Supper is so much helpful, I tell you, because I have taken it, I have experienced it, and it's so much helpful. I suggest that you don't take, you don't use any yeast or any kind of any rising agents in your, in your bread. Just make it without that. And I will talk with you more about the Lord's Supper and why I told you do not the what how you to how to make it. When you're taking it, don't take don't make don't take it uh, like uh, the food that you are making to to feed your hunger. You just take a little bit, even a drink, just very little, just to just to t just take a shot. So you pray, you thank God, you praise God, you praise the Lord, you thank him for his death, for dying for you, you remember his death when you are taking it, and then you take a shot to remember him. You say this is the blood of Jesus and this is the, this is the body of Jesus, okay? Then um, I b believe that he you are going to testify. Remember to be humble. Jesus loved the humble people. And um, there is so much more maybe I could have told you. It is so much more. You can find out yourself. Read the word of God. Read the words of Jesus and define yourself Try to find yourself what you can do. Because when this you are seeking, remember, if you seek, you will find. Remember this word. Jesus said, the one who seek, find. So don't give up. Just seek and you will find. I believe that all with those old tips I have given to you, and the more you find in the scripture, you will get through and you will come to testify that I have found. In the name of Jesus, I pray to the Lord to touch everyone who is listening to this. In the name of Jesus, I say that whoever who is listening to this, let it be the agreement between me and that person that the one who listened to this and do what I have told them they have they will come to see and find more about you and they will come you will move to them and and manifest yourself to them in the name of Jesus amen If it's the first time you visit this channel, I, I say that you subscribe, click on that red bell button for notification, and if you like what I'm talking about, please like, share, and comment. God bless you.